What is it, buddy? Hey guys, it's Joe here. I got Tripper with me. We're out at the fort. It's going to be a blizzard tonight. It's going to come down quite a bit with snow. So we're going to test out the fort uh, protection capabilities and stay the night. Go in there. Here, here, Tripper. Here, in there. Go on. Go, go. Yes. Good boy. What's all that about, huh? Smells kind of like a barn in here. Nope, nope, nope. There you go. Good boy. So on the agenda for today's video, we really just gotta get some firewood, hunker down, eh Steve? We'll hunker down and wait for this blizzard to come by. Um, I got some goodies. I don't have much. Most of this is taken up by my sleeping bag, Tripper's sleeping bag, and our sleeping pads. But uh, this is the first time Tripper's been out with me for a video, let alone an overnighter. So we're going to pay a lot of attention to him and enjoy ourselves. Right, buddy? Got some good food for you, too, huh? You can smell it, can't you? <laughs> Easy on the elbows, big guy. They weren't cheap, hey? Okay? There he goes. Tripper, stop. Your elbows, bud. All right, Tripper, back to his chipper self, huh? All right, we got our uh, wood processing tools. We're gonna leave the fort behind us and uh, go try to find a healthy supply of firewood that'll get us through the night. Because once she starts coming down, she's gonna be uh, snowing for hours. It's calling for just a heck of a snowstorm. So. Firewood! couple balsam spruce here that are dead. Not good hardwood, but we'll collect as much as we can anyway. Tripper and I just walked down behind the fort into an area that I don't normally frequent or even go into at all because it's swampy. But the good thing about the winter is a lot of things become accessible that aren't accessible other times of year. So I found a score on birch bark, I found a bunch of dry hardwood, and I found the, the like uh, markings of a porcupine on a tree and a couple other things. So let's go check it out and get that firewood. We already got a lot. I got a lot that I didn't show you. but. I'm gonna go stack up. What's this? What is this? A squirrel mitten. All those pieces on the snow you can see. Those are pieces of spruce shell or spruce cone shell that they've eaten the seeds out of and discarded out of their home. So he's got a nose on him. 
and he's right in there. But the porcupine, the porcupine markings, the porcupine work, is right here. So you can see over the years, they've used this same tree. This is fresh this year. Look at that, it's almost a straight line at the bottom. Fresh there, and then old chew, then actual bark, and it goes up from there. There's another fresh chew uh, right there on that limb. But that's good to see. What do you got, buddy? What are you eating? What are you eating? So happy to be out here. Hey, good boy. So, anyways. Oh, and then there's some rabbit chew there. Lots of signs of animals down here in the swampy part. Probably much more productive. Anyway, I found a dead cedar with its bark stripped off, so that's good. I can use that for things. Go on, buddy. Nice job. What is it? Somebody's home. Let's leave those guys alone. Come on. Well, bye bam. much for the old pocket. Ballin' Birchcraft Birchcraft Birch Bark Ballin' out of control. Oh Trepper. And then there is just a plethora of dead dry wood ready for the picking. Leave it, leave it. Wow, look at the color of this wood. I can get it out. Hey, you little punk. Look at the color of that. Okay, good boy. There you go. I know, I know. Come here, come here, over here. Bring it around, over here, over here. Good boy. I know. So vocal. <laughs> Have you guys missed seeing Tripper in the videos? I know some of you have, because I get comments all the time. I uh, I miss having him here too. He's a handful, but it's uh, it's what he's for, man. I don't ever want to be in the woods without a dog if I don't have to. That's the whole reason I got him. All right, I got a decent haul here. I'm gonna head back uh, with one armful and strip down some of these layers because I'm overheating and I gotta not sweat too much. Go, go, go. Drop a deuce, bro. Stanky. Stanky leg trip. You good, bro? They're all out of sorts. Okay. We are solid on the firewood situation today. I am very confident in that. Now, all you have to do is cut it all up. What do you think? Two years it took me to get this. Two years. What is it?
Trapper, what is it? All right, you want to go see what it is or what? Let's go see. What is it, buddy? I don't think there's anything there. Nothing we need to worry about, at least. Yeah, everything's good, big guy. Anyway, so this is one stack of wood. This is all hardwood and all relatively dry, so pretty happy about that. Come on in here. I have hardwood twigs to start with and some conifer twigs to start with. And come around the fort. We've got some hardwood here, two real big, decent size uh, balsam spruce, or sorry, bal balsam fir, and another big piece of hardwood laying up there. We are good. We are good for wood. So it's about 4.30 right now, and I am absolutely starving. So we're gonna get this fire going. The, the blizzard is supposed to come around six or seven tonight. So, we're anyways, we're gonna get this going. I can feel the winds coming in now, and uh, we'll cook up our food in a little bit. I have just a lighter to light the fire with today. And there's nothing wrong with that. Look at that, nice and easy. So we'll get as much on as we can, and if I remember correctly, Tripper is probably going to jump at and bark at the sparks, ashes, and flames. So that should be fun. Why are you burning those sticks, dude? There's such nothing wrong with these sticks. Why are you burning them? Such a waste. Okay, such a waste. There we go. Nice fire started. Now we'll deal with this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Watch out for my camera. Watch out for my camera. Finally decided to stop running around. Put this over here in case you want to lay in it for now. Lay on it for now. I'll blow it up after for you. If you don't want to, you don't have to either. I know you're weird about that stuff. Well, I think I need a table out here. That's probably going to be the next thing that I build. Woo, she's low, low to the ground, Joe. We got, we got our food. Like I said, I'm really hungry. It's almost uh, supper time. So we're trying to get everything organized here. I got a steak, I got a ribeye steak there. I'm gonna share with Tripper. In here I have some asparagus. Back up, back up. And green onion, Tripper back. I've also got a couple mushrooms and some onion. I have this pretty cool wax paper stuff that you can uh, put some food stuffs in, not wet things obviously, but I got a potato and some garlic in there and that's reusable, quite reusable. Got steak spice and some olive oil. So I think what we'll do first, chop up the veggies and get them in there. And we'll use this little, I bought a little bamboo piece of wood for this because old Dougie, I haven't seen him in a while, he's going to make me a walnut one, but we just haven't seen each other, so until, oh no, my potato, until I see him, this is what I will use. So I hope everyone's doing well. This is my first real video 
since New Year's I did that update video which was pretty well received thank you for that but this is the first camping trip this is the first real real video I'm doing so I'm happy to be out oh we got the uh, the Starlink hooked up Elon Musk's internet all hooked up and uh, it was like plug-and-play basically super easy straightforward um, and yeah it works so very happy about that and uh, this will be the first video that I'm uploading from it Le so we'll see how long it takes to upload and the whole nine yards but first impressions are good I was so happy to be able to call Bell and cancel my subscription with them and we said can we ask why and I said yes because Every time I call here, it's uh, the worst experience of my life. Uh, you have horrible internet, and I'm paying like way more than I should for a garbage internet every month. I'm like, say no more, fam. Back off, man. I will give you food, I promise. You will eat your fill. Imagine my name was Phil. Good. You can back up now. You can back up. You can back up. You can back up. You can back up. That looks so good. Ribeye is my all time favorite cut. Sometimes they're no good when you get them in restaurants. For some reason, they want to give you thin ribeyes or chewy fat ribeyes. The ribeyes that I like are thick, well marbled, not chewy, but buttery fat. Okay, let's check on this fire. It's almost time to start cooking. I should have cut the potatoes first. I completely dropped the ball on that. I should have thrown the potatoes in first for a while, but that's okay. It'll all work out. All right, so this is basically done. It's gonna still cook on the skillet after uh, after I take it off. So I'm gonna put it next to the fire there on the rock to stay hot. Just wanna scrape down this, uh, this grill a little bit. It was all rusty. I'm gonna throw my steak right on it and we'll be good to go coals have burnt or the fires burned down to coals for the most part Gonna cook pretty quick. Looks good. What? Uh, yep. Okay. Good. All right, she's done. Blew it into flame a little bit so that the fat would get crisped up. There we go. 
that was made for that steak. No, no, it's hot. Dude, could have been a learning experience. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it, man. Seriously. Like, as much as I want you to touch it to learn. Okay, you're going to just touch it anyway? Yeah. You can have some steak if you like. Leave it. Alrighty, first things first, I got my CLP Kuxa and my Muskoka Detour. I got two of these bad boys for tonight. One's a shock top. So, I'm gonna pour a nice frothy brew. Nice and frothy. Hello, hello. Right ho. You guys miss my English accent, right? What? I just blew on this. I just blew on it. Even better through the wooden cup. Even better. Okay. Okay, folks. Well, I'm going to let that sit for another minute before I dig in. Here's my stir fry. Mmm. Get off. You're just sitting on the grill. Must be cooled down now. Oh my goodness, he's literally sitting on it. Nope, nope, he just felt the heat. <laughs> Dude. I didn't bring any Lowry seasoning, which is what I normally put on my stir fries, but I just substituted a little bit of Montreal steak spice on there, like seriously, just a pinch. And all the flavors together are working good, so it doesn't really need it. Look at that. Super excited about this. Tripper's gonna get his share for sure. But let's see just how we did on the cooking. On the cooking front. Oh, we overdid it. It's cooked. It's cooked for sure. That's a phenomenal steak. Holy smokes, boys and girls. Mm. Wow. Here, buddy. Here, come. Good boy. Lay down. Fat. He thought I was giving that to him when I held it out. Mm -hmm. So the surgery did not work for Autumn. There's no more like waiting to see. It's it's apparent that it's just the same exact as it was before. So it's pretty disheartening because he put her through all this stuff, right? Before, like she's a little kid, she's two. She watches a show called Doc McStuffins. She loves doctors. Do go to see Doc McStuffins. Go see Doc McStuffins. Whatever, it's a doctor. She's happy about it, laughing. Well, after this last surgery, after this third surgery, she's not all about the doctors anymore. She's scared of going to the doctors. Whereas before, it was a happy thing for her, which really bums me out. But again. It's not the end of the world, it's just every single time they tell us it's going to work, or that has a 90% success rate, it just doesn't work. And with everything locked down, I just don't know what to do. I certainly don't want to put her through that again, but I don't want her to lose that eye, or lose sight out of that eye, or lose being able to breathe out of the one nostril. It's just, or even just having the cosmetic issue of that. She's a pretty little girl, you know what I mean? I don't want her to have this issue in life. If she doesn't have to. Kids are mean, you know what I mean? Like, again, 
I know it could be worse. Believe me, I am thankful it's not. It's still frustrating, though. As I'm sure you can appreciate. Careful of the camera, bro. We got the new puppy. She is a bundle of joy. She's very precious. And uh, Tripper is very good with her. He was a little scared at first. <laughs> that big bad golden doodle puppy. But he's very interested in her now. And she just wants to follow him around. She's honestly the best puppy I've ever seen. Other than Scope. Nobody's topping scope. Well, this uh, this blizzard was supposed to happen at around 7 p.m. tonight. And I just checked the weather. Now it says it's not going to show up until around 10 or 10.30. Might be in bed by that time, if I'm being honest with you. But we'll see. We'll wake up to uh, to a snowy... Escape, I'm sure. Good boy. Cleaning that up, are you? Well, supper was fantastic. Tripper ended up getting more of that steak than I had, but I am full, and that uh, that stir fry on the side was was the icing on the cake. Stir fry on the side was the icing on the cake. So. Soak this fire back up. Probably have to get my flashlight out because it's getting kind of dark in here. The old fort is not friendly for filming. The unfriendly filming fort. Watch out, buddy. You're right in the way. Right in the frame. <laughs> so this, uh, this fire pit's been going strong, folks. Remember the concerns over it. Uh, I think we have null and voided those concerns with all the fires and how hot it's been but uh, anyway fire, fire pits just a rock and the rocks behind it the stones behind it hold the heat and uh, I'm not shy on burning firewood today because I have a ton of it so we're just going to keep it rocking I said rocking like three times there Back with another one of those black rocking boots. It's not really cold today. It was like zero uh, earlier. Um, it's probably dropped down a little bit now, but not very cold today at all. That's why I decided to bring Tripper because he's doing well and uh, it's not too cold. So he's not limping. He's doing pretty good. This is what it looks like outside right now. Getting pretty dark. Winds are kicking up, but still no signs of any blizzards. I'm really hoping we can deliver up on that one. You know, the whole point is to come out here, test out the fort, see how good of a shelter it actually is. Not just come and see later on and see the aftermath, but be out here in the blizzard, in the uh, winds and snow. Anyway. Still got lots of firewood to go. I can I want to spend some time and cut some up now uh, before it gets too dark. Tripper, what are you doing, man?
from my camera, dude, please. Look at my butt, look at my butt, look at my, look at my, look at my butt. Boop, 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 boop. I gave Tripper my extra blanket there because he doesn't like the feel of that sleeping bag, I don't think. But he's all wound up because it's a pretty sparky fire right now. But we're going to get settled in here a little bit. Nice and toasty, it's a big fire. Quite warm in here. Well, it's getting late. Um, it's almost 9 o'clock now. We've been hanging out. We went for a nighttime hike. He's all hyped up again. He was a little calmed down, but when we got back, we stoked this fire back up and uh, he's just losing it. So, anyway, par for the course. Back to normal now. <laughs> However many months later. This uh, this blizzard, man. I, I keep promising it. I, I really hope that it does happen. I uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It said it in the radar. But uh, if it does happen, I'll be sure to show you. I think we're going to settle in for a little bit. I'm going to make my bed. Maybe have Tripper lay down. Maybe I'll put his bed over here and move the chair. But... Uh, doesn't need to be very close to this fire because it is toasty in here. Quite quite warm. It's a nice night. Reminds me of old times with Tripper. Not cold at all. It's nice in here. It's got a nice glow with this fire going. What you're barking at. It's stuck on a knot up there. I had to fix that, but for now. I'm gonna just get it down close enough and it will it'll boil because it's so hot. There we go, put it right in there. Ba bam. So that'll be the next thing up on the agenda. I'm not gonna do it tonight, but uh, I'll have to clear that up so I can slide it back and forth much easier instead of fighting with it.
make up some hot chocolate. My daughter got me this actually. Emerald picked this out for me. Back up, Trevor. Campfire cocoa. So we'll try some of that out, I think. A Vec marshmallows. No, back up, man. All right, here it is. Ha <laughs> ha! See? I told you. I told you it would come. Nice. Yeah, I still got that fire again. The blizzard is on its way. Trees are blowing. Snow is blowing too. Nice. You tripper? What do you think, big guy? What's going on? Well, the tripper is starting to get wet from the uh, snow coming in, so I'm going to shut this door for now. Yeah, it's coming down. Hope it snows all night, we'll see. I brought all my firewood inside. Good morning folks, it's just after seven. I, uh, I passed out after I talked to you last night I started blizzarding. I just laid down for a little bit to uh, just rest my eyes and my legs and my back and I thought I'll get some more footage of it in a little bit and I must have passed out hard because I woke up at about 4 and it was just calm as the day. So let's go check it out. It should be a daylight starting. Tripper bounced on me a little while ago. I just see him. He came back in right now as I'm talking, but he left a good half hour ago. I was calling him and he didn't want anything to do with coming back. So let's go get out and see what the uh, what the snow brought, what the blizzard actually brought. I can see it came in the in the shelter a little bit in the fort here. Watch out, buddy. Oh yeah, see, it all blew in here. I was not there yesterday. What are you doing, man? Oh yeah, holy smokes! It's snowing now. Trevor, come here. Sit. Sit. Stay. No, Tripper, what's this? Stay. What's this? Well, it was a blizzard. Look at how we got pounded. Look how heavy the boughs are and everything. It's snow on them. What's this? Hey! No, oh, alright. Look, even the paracord has a ton of snow on it.
that came down out here and I was completely KO'd in here, oblivious to anything going on. So I'd say the old fort did its job. Hey, it's too early, it's too early for that, man. Calm down. Wasn't as advertised. It didn't come at six or seven p.m. But still, I slept through a blizzard. The old fort did its job. Go on. Well, what are you doing, man? Watch out. Get some bacon on, maybe make a tea. She's wet up there, holding a lot. There's a lot of snow out there. I wish I was able to get more of the blizzard for you. Like I said, I thought it was going to come earlier. But I just wanted to get out and camp in this blizzard. It seemed like a good test of the fort. I wanted to be out here for that. It seemed like a good video to make. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be back to my regular postings now. So, as long as this upload goes goes smoothly, smoothly at home, and I'm sure it will. Ah. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good day. I'll see you soon. A brand new video. Come on, come get it. We'll go camping. We'll go. Uh... Actually, you know what? I have plans to revamp this fort on the inside. There's a lot of wasted space over there, and it drips a lot over here where it doesn't drip at all over there. So maybe the move is to move the bed over there and make a bed, uh, table. I would like a table, a working table. Um, and we'll switch the fire pit around and stuff. But other than that, I do want to go on a camping trip. I do have a extended day uh, canvas tent winter winter uh, sorry I do have a extended trip uh, like a multi-day canvas tent type winter trip coming up 
in the near future. And I do have some um, some new gear that I want to test out before that. So I'll be going out for an overnight with the uh, the canvas tent soon enough to test out some new gear too. So lots in the works. Anyways, you guys have a good day. Thanks for thanks for watching. I'll see you later. That's all she wrote, man. Nothing left. I'm just packing up, getting ready to leave. Here's my saw. Just completely buried under the snow. Done. <laughs> Sounds good. Get your stick, let's go. Get your stick and come. Oh. Okay, fine. Let's see how it is. It's snowy. It's snowy out here. Wow. What you doing, buddy? Hey, big guy. Come here. Come. Wow, is it snowy. There's the truck. <laughs> she, uh, she's a little covered. Man. This is so much deeper than yesterday. I can't believe the amount of snow we got and how protected I was. Like I literally had no clue. No clue it snowed this much. Holy smokes. <laughs> Hello, man. Take it easy.